Hey Pulse fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. If you're new here, hi, my name is Caroline and I love to talk about nail polish. So on my channel you'll see a lot of nail polish hauls, favorites, videos, some swatching, amateur though they might be, and just chit chat about nail polish. So if you like to watch those videos, make sure to hit that little subscribe button down below. That way you won't miss out on any of my videos. Today we're doing a little cluster of hauls. I've got my first box from Little Box of Horror. Then I've got one from Polished Gamers and one from the Charity Box. So we've got a couple of different venues here. Some of them are fairly new to me. Like I said, this isn't the first month that I ordered from Little Box of Horror. And I'm pretty sure that this was the first month that they were available as well. And we'll go over each event once I unpack the boxes for each. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this one here. This is my little haul from Little Box of Horror. Now from what I've gathered, it seems as though it is a bi-monthly event box. So it will have a horror theme, usually a scary movie or such. I don't remember the themes of this one in particular. I think it might have been Supernatural the show, but I'm not 100% sure. But they, I think, are coming around this month again. So I will try to post the link down below. So if you have any questions, you can check out the link. Also for all of these boxes, I really recommend checking out their Facebook groups. That way you can see heads up on when it, these events release, as well as sneak peeks for the different polishes, waxes, things like that, that are gonna be available because most of these are not just polish. You can have waxes, hand lotion, bath products, makeup, jewelry, even stamping plates. So it's a lot to look at. I just got three for this first box. And unfortunately, the reason this one was already semi-opened is I had to open it because I knew my wax had melted. It should not be this thin. <laughs> it's supposed to be shaped like a honeycomb with a bee on it. And this was delivered right around the time that Washington was having a triple digit heat wave and my wax did not survive. So um, that's this little mess. So we're not really going to talk about it other than the fact that it really smells good. It smells sort of sweet and uh, foody. And I don't remember the company. Here, let's try to at least open it so that I can tell you the company. The scent might have something to do with bees because that was the shape of the wax. Oh man, this poor little thing. Still usable, it's just not in any way shaped anymore. So this is by Saki Wax Co. And it is a soy wax melt. Came with some really cute little glitters that would have gone so well with the wax shape. And again, it smells really nice. So again, it is still usable. It just is not very attractive to look at right now. It looks sort of like a melted milkshake, but that was the wax. Then I got two polishes. This first one is by EDK. I've been getting a lot of their polishes through boxes like this Polish Pickup Hella Handmade Creations, and I was excited to see them in this box. So this one is called Brotherhood, and this one released in May 2021. So it's been a while. <laughs> And this is such a beautiful blue. This is another one of those shimmer polishes that is loaded, loaded with the shimmer. I can see green and red and pink and gold. It's beautiful. And this is a nice mid-toned blue. We are gonna come back and swatch all of these later. My hands are a little greased up from the wax. Uh, but we will come back and swatch all of these, but I just wanted to give you a little brush shot. Look at that shimmer. It is so beautiful. So when I initially unboxed this just now, <laughs> I was a little bit worried that I had duped myself because I have been picking up these colors a lot. If you watched my video before of my Polish pickup haul, I had gotten, in fact, one of them is sitting around here, Painted Pretties rainbow hair as well as J Ren's on the rocks and while those two were similar to each other um i don't see my J Ren right now but i was a little bit worried that this edk might be somewhat similar and they do have very similar shifts but i think this blue in this one might be an even deeper blue than the rainbow hair by painted pretty so we'll have to give this one a swatch and then compare it to the other two that i already have here i did do a little bit of a topper party <laughs> over rainbow hair but we'll come back to that and just do a little side by side comparison just to see but that was edk's 
Brotherhood, another gorgeous polish. The second one ooh, is a Jaren. This one is a purple polish called The Guardian. And this is stunning, you guys. So I'm a sucker for purple and for shimmer polishes. So this was a combination that I just couldn't resist. In person, I'm seeing a beautiful shift of blue, gold, and green. On camera, I think I was seeing pink and bronze. So this is gonna be another one of those polishes that has a lot of shift going on. It's gonna depend a lot on your lighting, how opaque you've gotten it. It's gorgeous. So that is another one that I'm gonna be really excited to swatch. Like I said, we'll come back later after I've unboxed everything and do the swatching. But that was The Guardian by Jaren. So those were the three items that I got from Little Box of Horror. Now we're gonna unbox my Polished Gamers box. So this was for May and it shipped in June. It looks like I got a few more things in this box. Did I get yellow? How unusual. All right, so I did get a few more things in this one. I got four polishes and a wax, and I think this is a cuticle balm. So polish number one, this was a must have. This is a 1422 design and this is called Cruisin' in my ATV and this was a respawn. So what that means is it is a polish that came back from a previous month. So they sort of, so quick little explanation with the response because it's a bit different than the rewind that Polish Pickup does. So in the Polish Gamers box, every month there's respawns. At least I think it's every month. If it's not every month, it's like every other month or every third month. It is much more frequently than just once a year. And so any polish that had over pours will have a respawn. At least I think that's how it works. <laughs> now that I'm trying to explain it, I'm not 100% sure that that's how it works. Or if it's just some popular ones make an appearance because the maker said so, I really don't know. <laughs> now I'm questioning myself. <laughs> And in any case, the point is, is there's often respawns available in the shop. Anywho, <laughs> this was one of the respawns for that month. And this was, I think, inspired by Mario Kart. And it sold out so blazingly fast the first time. And I really, really wanted it. I thought that this was a beautiful combination. It has those matte blue glitters that I really like. And it's a purple polish. So I had to to get my hands on this. So this is one of the first polishes that I bought that month. And it's also got some beautiful shimmer in there. I think it's sort of playing hide and go seek in that dark base, but it's really beautiful. And again, one of those polishes that was an absolute must have for that month. So that was Cruisin' in my ATV by 1422. The next polish is also a 1422 Designs. This was their release for that current month of May, and this is called Ultimate Knockout. You guys, check this out. I had to get my hands on this. I thought this was such a fun polish. It is a little bit retro. It's in that bright blue that I have been trying to get for summer. Although again, at this point, summer is gonna be practically over before I get to wear even a third more of my nail polish summer rack but I love this tone of blue. And look at the glitter mix. This is so unique. So it's got bar glitters in a bigger size than most of the other bar glitter polishes that I've been getting. I think these ones are iridescent. You've got square glitters, hex glitters, little tiny micro glitters in a couple of various small, small sizes. Then you've got a purple shimmer running throughout the whole thing. Don't know if that's gonna be coming across I think some of it is right there. And I hear you, honey. Yeah. Oh. Willow was insisting on being led into the next room, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous polish and very unique to my collection. I thought it was such a fun mix of all of these beautiful glitters. You've got the iridescent of the bar glitters, then you've got pinks and purples. And again, that really vibrant turquoise base is really beautiful. I think it's a little bit more green leaning in real life than I'm seeing on my viewfinder, but it's really gorgeous. So that was 1422 Designs, Ultimate Knockout. Such cute wrapping for this next one. This is by Danaviana. 
and this is another blue polish i told you guys i was collecting these <laughs> this is again by danny Viana, and this is called gris uh, i think i'm pronouncing that right but this is another beautiful polish now i will say the difference between this one and the other three polishes at least that i've got in this same shifty shimmer color family is this one does also have iridescent flakies what baby as well as the beautiful shifting shimmer there's that beautiful aqua in person i'm seeing some gold and green in that shift towards the edge and look at that gold and pink this one is super shifty so beautiful so can't wait to swatch this one i think i will try to get this one next to that edk that way we can oops <laughs> that way we can do a little side-by-side -side comparison although i really don't think those two are anything alike but we'll see about getting them at least somewhat close together that way we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of rainbow hair by paint it pretty and that jaren so that was by danny viana grief all right so purchase number two from polished gamers box was a couple of scented items and another nail polish so let's start with a nail polish this one is a vanessa molina polish and it is called madeline and this is a yellow polish. This is somewhat outside my wheelhouse. If you are a regular to my channel, you'll know that yellow, reds, and up until recently, pinks are one of those colors that's just not ones that I gravitate towards. But I really like the shimmers in this one. This one has this sort of red to green shift in it and it has iridescent flakies and the swatch pictures that i kept seeing of this were really gorgeous so i decided to give it a try i might be wearing this over white or maybe find a yellow cream polish that'll be bright enough for this to bounce off of but i thought that the shimmer in this was just beautiful a little bit on the green side kind of maybe yeah a little bit on the green side so it's an interesting shade of yellow as well so can't wait to see how that looks as well on to my scented products so this one is my first time purchasing from this brand the brand is galate cosmetics i think that's how you pronounce that and it is made in san francisco and this is their galate cuticle balm so it's for soothing softening and protecting dry and cracked skin hands elbows and more and this particular scent is called stella the fairy master and it is scented like cantaloupe lemon cucumber and sun ripened plums i thought that combination sounded really delicious i really like melon scents and cantaloupe is a really good scent for that um, lemon is always nice cucumber might not be my favorite but i thought with the sweetness of plum this could be a really nice scent combination all right so first off check out the size of this tub this is one full ounce and it is a twist off tub and it is a balm yeah, that is really nice. Nice consistency there. I mean, that is thick. I would have to gouge into this, but really you only need to just warm it with your finger like that and just rub it into your cuticles or rub it into your hands. Like the instructions on the back said, you could use it on cracked hands. I know when we're having these high temperatures like we are again today, uh, having something really moist like this on your hands is really nice because they do get really, really dry. So scent wise, I would say I do smell the melon with a little bit of the lemon. And I do smell the cucumber, but it is nuanced enough with the lemon and the cantaloupe that it doesn't really smell like typical cucumber fragrances do. This one's really a nice, pleasant mix of the melon with the lemon. And like I said, that cucumber is more of like a back note and I, there is a sweetness. I wouldn't necessarily know that that was plum, but that's a beautiful little mix there that's a nice scent and that's a really good consistency too so i just rubbed that in and you can see not that much of a residue left behind my skin just soaked it up so that's really nice really happy with that and i don't remember the price on this but i don't think it was very much it was somewhere between five and eight dollars for a whole ounce of this which is really good especially for an indie so that again was galate cosmetics and their cuticle balm scented like stella the fairy master up next is a wax this one is from tonchi mountain studios and this is a parasoy wax melt and it is called ink machine 
This one is going to have notes of pine, jasmine, sweet pea, freesia, amber, berry, incense, and sandalwood. This is another one where I thought the scent really just caught my attention. I have been really liking pine scents lately, and it basically started when I found a candle at Goodwill, and something about it just made me open it and smell it and it was divine scented and it had pine in it so that sort of opened me up to realizing that just because it has pine in it doesn't mean that it's going to be an overpowering scent so I thought that mixing it with some uh, jasmine sweet pea freesia as well as amber berry and then these uh, more mysterious notes of incense and sandalwood could be really interesting so I'm really curious to try this out scent wise now I don't have my wax melt going to do it warm but we will do a cold sniff so these sort of look like like blueberry tarts a little bit with their little blue spots oh that's nice that's nice i think i'm gonna really like this so i definitely smell the pine but it is it smells so good and the florals i will be curious to see how they work warm because some florals can get really overpowering I myself am not a floral fan. They usually just smell too overpowering and overly perfumey. And I this one, while it's there, I think that this that this beautiful mix is making everything just smell more mysterious. And that's the kind of scent that I really, really like. This is nice. I can smell the, the incense and the sandalwood, but all of these other floral notes just sort of lend themselves to this really sweet not sweet like candy but they sort of soften up the more assertive scents like pine and incense and sandalwood that's a really nice mix i'm glad i went ahead and got that so that was tonchi mountain studios in ink machine that's a beautiful scent i can't wait to try that all right so this was my haul from polished gamers box now we're on to the charity box. Now this one is a more recent purchase. These two were from May and I think this one is actually just from last month so a July order. All right so for this one we've got six polishes and another EDK. <laughs> I'm telling you I like to pick these up from a lot of different venues so this one is another EDK. This one's called Sea Dragon and like I said these are all from the charity box for July. Ooh, this is a purple polish and it's a multi-chrome, and it has flakies. That is beautiful, and it's a magnetic. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and see what that one looks like. Magnetized. Ooh, that's beautiful. So you've got this sort of blurbly backdrop when you pull up the, a multi-chrome into that magnetic line, and the magnetic line is this sort of gold, orange, and pink, so there's a lot of colors there. And then you have the beautiful flakies. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. Let's see if we can get a better view there of that multi-chrome and that line. In person, the hot pink is a, the fuchsia is a lot brighter. And then it sort of has this gold cast to it behind it. Really beautiful color. That is lovely. So that was EDK's Sea Dragon, another beautiful polish. The next polish is from Trio. So this one is by Trio Lacquer, and this is called Quokka Selfie, and it is inspired by these adorable little quokkas from, us. I think it's Australia or New Zealand. They are adorable, and I thought that this color was so summer appropriate. Again, I'm going to have to stop trying to keep adding more of these colors to my summer rack because at this point, summer is going to be over before you know it. Uh, so I, I, I can't say that I'm super bummed, but at the same time I am way more into the summer colors this year than I have been in the past. So this is a beautiful color. It is this really bright and rich like watermelon pink. It's sort of coral leaning. It's sort of orange leaning. It's just really beautiful and it has a shimmer in here. My bottle does seem to have a little bit of a white cast going on and some little speckles, so I'm not sure if it's having a bit of an issue with some of the pigments not breaking down, but look at that shimmer. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. I see a little bit of pink on this side of the bottle and some gold on this side, 
so can't wait to see how that's going to look on the nail again with this the swatches of this were really nice so cannot wait to see that one so that was trio lacquers quaka selfie next up we've got another one from vanessa molina this one is called rainbow snake and it's another magnetic let's see what this one looks like Ooh, i'm impressed already Wow, okay, let's give it a shake and talk about it and then show you that again. <laughs> this is this really beautiful multi-chrome base uh, in a slightly larger particle than your standard finely milled shimmer. I see purples and fuchsias and blues and golds and greens. So, so lovely. And then when you put the magnetic line on here, all of that fuchsia pulls into that magnetic line and you're left with this stunning green jewel base. All of those colors still shift, so the green shifts from sort of this teal to an emerald, and then all of that magnetic line has a bunch of shifting color in it as well. Gorgeous color. I am such a sucker for magnetics because they're so intriguing. So that was Vanessa Molina's Rainbow Snake. The next polish is... Ooh, this one was Zombie Claw. This one was another must-have for this month. This one was so adorable and the inspiration was so cute. This is Snow Leopard Cuddles. And this was, like I said, one of those polishes that I had to get. It is a white curly base loaded with these beautiful shimmering iridescent flakies. And then it's got blue metallic glitter in it. Very unique to my collection. Very unique in general. I don't think I've seen a combination like this before. And I thought it would be so cute for winter. This was a must have for the month. So that one was Zombie Claws Snow Leopard Cuddles. Next up, this one is from J. Ren, and this one is Reef Queen. This one was inspired by either a shrimp or a lobster, I don't remember which, but it was in this brilliant color like this. So this is a beautiful bright fuchsia shimmer, and that shimmer shifts, do you see that orange? To a beautiful like orangey papaya juicy color, and then it has... Uh, I want to say scattered holographic glitter in here. It is another stunning color. I love colors like this lately for summer. If you've been watching my videos lately, you'll know that this tone of pink has been my jam lately, which is really surprising considering last year or even six months ago, I probably wouldn't have looked at this kind of a polish twice. So this one I was really excited about as well. That was J. Ren's Reef Queen. And just one more to go before we do our swatches. This last one was another one I was super excited about. This one is Wildflower Lacquer and it was Panda Painter. This one was inspired by a Lisa Frank image of a panda bear painting. And this is a beautiful blurpily purple base with a bunch of shifting shimmer as well as scattered holographic glitter. Another gorgeous polish. The swatches of this were really beautiful and along the top of the bottle in certain lights, I don't think it's coming across on camera, but you can see some pink, gold, and a little bit of green in that shifting shimmer. Oh, there's, I think, that aqua anyways. <laughs> but really gorgeous combination and another color that I was really excited about for that month. So that was Wildflower Lacquers Panda Painter. All right, so now on to the swatches. We are going to try to do this as quickly as possible. This video is a bit longer already than I was originally hoping for, and we've got a lot to swatch. So we're going to start off with J. Rain's The Guardian. This was from the Little Box of Horror. Beautiful violet color. I think the second coat of this turned out quite nicely. Really beautiful color and the shimmer in this is so beautiful. Love that and in fact in just two coats it seems fairly opaque. I would wonder if on longer nails you might need a third because it is a shimmer polish formula, but it's gorgeous in two. So that was two coats of J. Ren's The Guardian. Next up is EDK. This is Brotherhood, also from the Little Box of Horror. And yes, so far rather reminiscent 
of the other two polishes that we were talking about, the J-Ren on the Rocks and Painted Pretty's Rainbow Hair. But I love those two, so <laughs> it's another gorgeous polish. And again, I love the colors of this shimmer. So beautiful. So let's go ahead and do a second coat. And yes, in the second coat, it is a little bit more on the deep side. So when we do that comparison between the J-Ren and the Rainbow Hair, we'll have to see how similar they actually end up being. But that is a lovely color. And again, the, the shifts in this, I just can't say enough about it. So, so beautiful. So that was two coats of EDK's Brotherhood. And then to compare those to the other two polishes that we have been talking about, this one here was J-Rin's On the Rocks. This other one here with the hollow glitter on it, it was Painted Pretty's Rainbow Hair. Very similar, definitely sister polishes, but different. Next up, we're gonna do Danny Viana. This one is Gris. This one is one from the Polished Gamers box. Ooh, this one I think actually has a different shimmer altogether than the one from EDK. It's also a lighter, more squishy base. But love the shifts in there and those flakies. So let's go ahead and do a second coat. And I would say probably you would need a third coat but for the sake of time, we're gonna stick with just the two, but you are definitely looking at two very different polishes between these two, and compared to even Rainbow Hair and On the Rocks. These are four different colors altogether. Again, very similar <laughs> in the same family, same idea, but of the four, the one by Danny Bianna is definitely the most different. It has the sheerer formula, with those flakies added. And I wanna say the shimmer is different. That one was by Danny Viana, Gris. Next up, we've got 1422 Designs, Cruising in my ATV. Oh, interesting. So this one actually has a bit of a sheer quality to it. Wasn't quite expecting that, but I don't know why. For shimmer and glitter polishes, sheer is the way to go because you wanna be able to see everything that's in it. Look at how beautiful that is. I am such a sucker for those little matte blue glitters. So adorable. All right, so let's go ahead and do a second coat. Beautifully built up. I think I might have benefited from waiting just a touch longer, but not too bad. Really beautiful layering effect of those blue glitters. You can tell that the base laid over the ones that are on that first coat uh, slightly tints them. That's going to create a nice depth on the nail. And even in just two coats, this is a gorgeous polish. On that one though, I think we will come back for a third coat because unlike the one by Danny Viana, I think a third coat will really make a big difference in how deep of a color we're looking at. And I want to see how deep we're going to get. So that is a lovely third coat. Again, just cannot get over those little blue glitters. Those are so adorable. And the shift in this polish is really stunning. I'm loving the combination. And I think that third coat definitely built this the color up nicely. So that was three coats of Cruising in My ATV by 1422. Oh, and I meant to make mention of it in the outset. My hands are a bit on the messy side right now. I've got cat scratches on the inside of my hand as well as the outside. And then this lovely looking thing on the end of my finger is an accident that I had in the kitchen the other day. So I apparently tried it to lop off the end of my finger and uh, it doesn't look so nice, but hopefully that's not super distracting. I mean, it's not like an open wound or anything, but I just wanted to address it because it can look kind of gross. Next up, we've got the other 1422 and this is Ultimate Knockout. I'm really curious to see how this one is going to swatch. Oh yeah, look at all the fun glitters. Those came out so nicely, so evenly, and really easily. Very fun mix. So let's go ahead and do a second coat. Love this base color. And again, that mix of these glitters is so fun. I might just have to wear this in the summer. But my poor summer rack, you guys. <laughs> I keep adding to it. Uh, just to preface that. Okay, so when I make my summer rack, you guys, I'm at no means holding myself to wearing all of them. It is very much an inspiration board, if you will, of colors that I want to try to wear. 
and I know perfectly well at the beginning of it that I'm not gonna wear them all but I still feel kind of guilty about it <laughs> in any case this is a gorgeous color even in just these two coats I'm not sure how deep the color is gonna change with the third but we'll go ahead and see yep I think this is not really gonna deepen the color very much but you are gonna get a pond effect of more of those glitters to be honest though I think I preferred it in just two coats though with that third coat you really start to get a layered effect over the bottom layer and while it's not a bad look I really liked how it looked in just two coats so that's just something to keep in mind with glitters like this you don't have to make them opaque on their own you can always put them over a base either a blurring base coat or a matching one that matches the base of this but I'm absolutely loving this this is such a fun color so that was three fun coats of ultimate knockout by 1422 designs on to our yellow this is by Vanessa Molina this is Madeline Actually not sure if it's Madeline or Madeline, but <laughs> I will probably say both over the course of this video. Very nice. Okay, so this has loads of shimmer and loads of flakies. The reason I got this, and it is sort of this beautiful shade of yellow. Like I was saying, it has a pinch of green in it. Let's go ahead and build this up in two coats. Oh wow, this is a lot brighter in two coats. Wow. That's really pretty. I think it is washing it out on camera, but maybe you can sort of see the tint of green that I'm talking about. It's a really interesting color of yellow, and I am really loving the combination of the shimmer and flakies with that color. I, in fact, could see this as a really cool topper over like a highlighter yellow green type color, like mm, well, this one's sort of a pastel version of it, but I think that actually sort of the perfect base to this to really bring out the green nature in it this one is ellie girl flex one in my summer rack that i haven't gotten around to wearing but this is a really good combination something to keep in mind so that one was two coats of vanessa molina's madeline onto our magnetic of the bunch one of them anyways this is edk's sea dragon beautiful color very opaque too i'm gonna try the small rounded side of the magnet and i usually do fast forward through this part of the video because i hold this for between 30 to 40 seconds so that is the effect that you're going to get with that rounded side of the magnet i really like it, it sort of gives this multi-layered circle on the nail That's nice. I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. I'm gonna have to remember to use this side more often because I usually use this side or your standard bar magnet. But let's go ahead and look at a second coat of this one. So there is two coats. This is definitely opaque enough in just two coats. That is very impressive. And look at that flash of the magnetic. That is a beautiful way to wear it. I love that. You get a little bit more of that magnetic dance on the nail. You can see that there. This pigment flashes between this beautiful bronze and red. Gorgeous color. So that was just two coats of EDK's Sea Dragon. Another absolutely stunning magnetic, gotta say. All right, on to Treo Lacquer. This one is Quokka Selfie. And if you don't know what those are, please look them up. They are so adorable. Wow, look how opaque this is. Wow, all right. So guys, if you have shorter nails, you might get away with just one coat of this. That is very impressive. And that shimmer, oh, that is beautiful. This might have to be another one to add to the summer rack. I love that color. That is beautiful. If you pictured the most juiciest, ripest watermelon you've ever had, that's what this reminds me of. Wow, that's beautiful. So let's go ahead and do a second coat. Not that it really, really needs it, but we'll see what a second coat does to this beauty. You're definitely going to get a little bit of a... I know, I hear you, honey. A more of a full look on the nail. 
And if you weren't opaque on that first coat, you will be now. <laughs> no doubt about it. That is such a beautiful formula. I'm loving the shimmer that she used in this too. It is so gorgeous. So that was two beautiful coats of Trejo Lacquer's Quokka Selfie. Next up is our other magnetic. This is by Vanessa Molina and this is Rainbow Snake. Really excited to see this one. All right, so this one is a little bit more on the sheer side. I think we're gonna do this with the same magnetic. So that actually made for quite an interesting look. It's gonna be a bit harder to see because it is a bit on the sheer side right now, but you've got this circle of the magnetic line and then that purple dance across the darker green. See that? That is so cool. I'm really liking that magnet. I'm gonna have to remember, like I said, to use that side of the magnet more often. I really like it. Let's see a second coat. Ooh. Actually builds up very nicely in two coats. That is lovely. So again, you've got this beautiful dance of the magnetic pull across more of the nail, I feel like, than you usually get with your standard bar magnet or cat's eye. Look at that. Wow. Yes, honey, I hear you. Yeah. I do think it needs a third coat though to be fully opaque. All right, there we have three beautiful coats. Just loving this look. And again, another polish that's very unique to my collection. I've got a lot of magnetics, but I don't think I have one that turns quite this green when it's magnetized. Really beautiful base. So that was three coats of by Vanessa Molina, Rainbow Snake. Next up, we've got the one from Zombie Claw. This was inspired by Snow Leopard Cubs, and this is called Snow Leopard Cuddles. Now this one is gonna be sheer because it has all of those beautiful flakies and the glitter in it. So I guess technically you could use this as sort of a topper over other things, but you are gonna have that milky white base, so it will affect whatever you put it over, but it has possibilities. I'm loving how that looks so far. We'll try a second coat. There's that lovely second coat. More flakies and more glitter. Really gorgeous. And actually, while we're waiting for this to dry between coats two and three, let's go ahead and try it as a topper. What would I try this over? Hmm. Let's try it over this pink. This is from Lights Lacquer, and I believe that one is called Donna. That'll give you a good idea about, oh wow, never mind about the white. Wow, the base is not a problem, guys. The base is not a problem. <laughs> wow, look at that. So you might get a little bit of a cast of white, just a touch, if you are heavy handed. But look at that. One coat over a bright hot pink, and you can still definitely see a bright hot pink, as well as flakies and that beautiful blue glitter. All right, let's come back for a third coat on this one. Oh yeah, this builds up so nicely. Loving that in three coats. Like I said, this is one that I think is gonna be a beautiful winter polish. Gorgeous color. Like I said, I keep saying that for every single one, you guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, so that was three coats of Zombie Claws Snow Leopard Cuddles. Next up, we've got one from J-Ren. This one is Reef Queen. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. So this has a beautiful jelly-like formula. All of that lovely shimmer in here is so stunning. So bright. That is gorgeous. All right, and actually, now I wanna try something. So we just did one coat of Snow Leopard Cuddles over Donna. I want to try one coat of Reef Queen over that combination here, because I like to do that. Ooh, okay, never mind. It's pretty opaque over other colors. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, wow, look at that. You can almost not even see the blue glitters. I mean, you can, but not nearly as much as I thought you would be able to. Wow. 
So that's actually more opaque than I thought it would be. You can barely see the flakies. I'll be curious to see how that actually dries, but I was expecting that to be much, much sheerer over the flakies and the glitters. Huh. Wow. All right. That's pretty impressive. Let's try a second coat. This is such a beautiful color. So technically, because it's that opaque, on shorter nails, this could actually work probably in two coats. That is another beautiful pink color. So that was two coats of J. Rin's Reef Queen. And on the nail, you can definitely see that orange glow on this side of the nail. All right, lastly, we've got this one from Wildflower Lacquer. This is Panda Painter. And again, thank you guys for hanging out with me if you've stuck around this long. I know these videos have gotten a tendency of getting way longer than I've anticipated. So if you like shorter videos, let me know and I will try to do some shorter videos. I know I was originally trying to keep my videos away when I first started between 10 and 15 minutes. Wow. Whoa. One coat beauty. All right, so I don't think it's fully, fully opaque. It does have a squishy factor to it, but I mean, man, that's pigmented. Wow, that's gorgeous. That is stunning. Wow. I would say if you've got short nails, you probably could get away with one coat if you were in a hurry. That's so beautiful. So let's do a second coat. Oh, how beautiful loving this one so that second coat is so deep and inky i'm loving the shimmer in here at certain angles you've got green to blue and then you've even got that fuchsia that makes the purple make uh, turn into an even purpler purple <laughs> if that makes sense because when you've got the blue it turns more of a blurple and then you've got the scattered hollow glitter i know i hear you bunny are you done in here that is gorgeous. That one was two coats of Wildflower Lacquer Panda Painter. So there you have it guys, that was my haul from Little Box of Horror, Polished Gamers Box, and the Charity Box. Let me know down below which ones were your favorites, and again, let me know if you'd like me to try to shorten these guys up a little bit more, but hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know down below if you've shopped any of these boxes, and don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down below, as well as the little notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in that next video.